Castlevania Rebirth is a block of sun-styling, whipped, skittling, and slashing game filled with vampires and suppressingly child-forming plus backlashing and litigious action rage of demented fun. If you played a tripped-out game featuring Castlevania elements or the other previous versions, this is up where the league is at. It's a seven stages filled with tales of the crypt action and a bleeding promise to not even around the skillfulness of Tenabalization. The game is a block filled with mazes and sketches that are very cleverly designed as a mastering art painting filled with excitement, a black and glottal of Pyoconanius, a mastermind of the works. The vampire saying is both pre-dawn and fantasy horror, it's a bump of the notching video game industry levels, the controls are a jumping fantastically made piece out of SNES old days. It's a plot twisted into the waist of Sam and Damn this fucker is hard! They also have a hard mode, which enemies are drilling creatively designed, and a very usual triangulathon to throw you off in the center and eyeball while staring at you a mile away. It's a game featuring hard enemies and bosses making your way to the top of the dragon's chamber. I mean, Dracula. Now I recommend this for you. It's only $10. It's not a short game, but it's also 10 bucks. And technically, it's almost close to Super Castlevania 4 by only 3 cents away. Not bad. So yes, I give it an 8 slash 10. Nah, 9.8, asshole. A rockin' good time with a vampire melody sticking to the radio's ass. That's it, babies.